is to constrain and parent objects in Blender. And one of those ways is a vertex parent. A vertex parent is pretty easy to make, and I'll show you how to do it right now. I'm going to select this cube, and I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to select this plane. I'm going to go to edit mode. And if I select one of the vertices on the plane and come up to vertex, there's an option down here called make vertex parent. If I click on that, a second dialog box comes up and then click on that again. Now, if I go back to object mode and I select on the plane, I can now translate it and the cube will follow the plane around. Now, this cube though is parented to just this vertex and it is just a location-based parent. So if I rotate the plane, the cube follows the vertex's location but does not get rotation information. And that can be extremely useful in certain rigs as you're working, but I'm gonna show you a method where you can get the cube to follow the rotation as well. So I'll select the cube, and again, I'll shift select the plane, and I'm gonna go object, and I'm gonna go back to edit mode. Now I'm gonna select three vertices. So I have three vertices on that plane selected. I'm gonna go vertex, make vertex parent. It's going to bring up this dialog box and I'm going to click it again. Now I'm going to flip back to object mode. And now when I rotate the plane, the cube follows along. The cube will also scale with the plane when the object level of the plane is scaled. This is not true for an armature. So if I make an armature really quick, I'm just going to add a bone here and I'll add a second bone. And I'm gonna quickly add this plane to this armature. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna to go to Object, Parent, Armature to Form with Automatic Weights. Now if I select the armature and I go to Pose Mode, and I select on one of these controls and I move it, I'm actually deforming that plane but you'll notice that the cube is maintaining its shape. This is great for a couple of ways, is that you can actually constrain something to a deforming mesh, but you'll never change its actual deformation. It's almost like a static uh, cluster parent in Maya. You can only make a vertex parent using one or three vertices. If you try to use two or four more, it'll fail. And I'll show you right now if I select on the cube and shift select the plane and I go to edit mode, and I select on just two vertices here, and I do vertex, make vertex parent, and click this make vertex parent again. I will get this report error, select one or three vertices to parent to. It can only parent to one location vertice, but when it's using three, it's actually creating this plane, and that's what's giving it its rotation value. And that's just giving it its movement as well, so you can only use one or three when you're making a vertex parent. So what's an actual application for this? Uh, something I use it for a lot is something like buttons going up a shirt. So you want buttons to move with the deformation of a spine, but you don't want the buttons themselves to deform, and that's where a vertex parent is great. So I can select this top button up here. I can select this shirt. I can flip it to edit mode. I can select three vertices on this shirt and go vertex, make vertex parent, make vertex parent. Now when I go back to object mode and I select on this character rig here, I can rotate that spine control and deform that shirt, but all of the buttons stay in place. There's plenty of applications for vertex parents. Uh, I use them a lot for if I wanna stick something that isn't supposed to deform to something that will be deformable. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions about vertex parents in the comments below. Bye-bye.